Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, you know, it's real important that I make this uh, rant this morning because I think that a lot of people, I, I mean, I can actually see, let me just put it this way, how this society has um, just not been afforded um, a very good education. And it started with, you know, you don't graduate, but I'll let you walk across the stage anyway. And y'all don't understand how that hurt because it was deception. Because when I was coming up, if your ass didn't graduate, you had to go to summer school. And then you had to go and make up those credits and then go. Wasn't no walking across the stage because you don't want nobody hurt nobody's feelings. So, see, the society, it's almost like when y'all y'all remember uh, The Wiz? And when Richard, it was like Richard Pryor was a, a wizard. All right, the color is gold. The color is gold. The color is gold. Okay, the color is green. The color is green. That's that's what we perform like. In every sense of the, uh, every sense of the word, whatever somebody has dictated for us to do, a few years later, we're doing it now as normalcy. Like I said, I never agree with the fact that you can walk across the stage, get a diploma, you ain't graduated from Jack. But my kid who has and did all the work, got to sit there and walk, let you walk across and get the same honors as they did. It's not fair. They were, y'all, people were like, oh, yeah, that's good because we don't want to break their self-esteem. No, that's not what they were doing. They was just softening y'all up to take bullshit. And see, my generation don't take all that. We don't know how. We don't even know how to do all that. Same thing, like I was telling my niece, I said, you know, customer service, the way it is today, when I was coming up, your ass would have been fired. If I walk up to a desk and to a window and a person's talking about some <sighs> doing her nail, <sighs> can I help you? No, I don't feel sorry for people like that. And no, it's a protocol. And, you know, in fact, I sell a program to uh, Milwaukee County called Personality Plus. And that's what it was about. It was like light. It was part of a life skill training that you would have to do in order to present yourself to the public. Okay. Now, when you don't do that, and when you don't um, recognize that as a legitimate quality of life skill, then you have what you have today. People that are brain led by the nose, like those cows that you see uh, out here. I'm from Wisconsin. I'm up in here where, where, the, where the cows at, okay? And that's what they do. You just lay it all around. Moo, moo. So now <laughs> they got us in a situation where you're looking at a total psychotic person in office, and these people have been dummied down. They have been so, um, ex, you know, accepting of abuse because they had to ripen us up. That it just be fit that somebody like Donald Trump come along and um, just take control of all of this. Okay, so if they've been well into, it's already been a corporation for a long time. They just have to make it fit the way it's traded on Wall Street. Your social security number, my social security number, all our asses. And nothing but uh, commodities for Americans, right? So we learned that already. Okay, but they didn't teach us that in civics 101. So now you're beginning to see how can this really be? How can this uh, executive director just go crazy in a corporation? What is the board of directors doing? What are they uh, thinking about this? Well, Obviously nothing, because what has happened now is this dude then openly admitted 
that he been know about this pandemic. And I want to know what the people think that uh, hear him on tape saying, since they think that this pandemic is fake. I want to hear from all of y'all who says this fake ain't nothing going on because all of y'all can kick rocks as far as I'm concerned. Something is going on. And, okay, and if you think all these people dropping like this because they got high blood pressure and, and diabetes, you are sick. You're just sick as the damn president. Okay, so something is airborne in this damn air. And if you already know you're dealing with wicked scientists, what in the world will make you think otherwise? This is population control, and they've been trilateral commission, home base one on one. Donald Trump pulled it. So a reconstruction or a reset of the society is what they need. Y'all done went too crazy. You have a certain segment of population that is unemployed, unemployable not fit for nothing but spare parts. And y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all know that subclass. And I'm going to say they black because remember, our body parts fit in anybody. Okay? But some of y'all are strong and mighty. And as far as the system is concerned, you're worthless. You ain't no good. You're only good for your spare parts. I mean, you kill your own people. You uh, sabotage and shoot your own children. And then you get mad when the police do it. You stick your own babies in garbage cans. These are things that you never did before. Now you're killing your own self for uh, and your own people if they got any insurance policy, if they got any. you doing the same thing. So basically now you are the kind of Frankenstein that can be controlled. Period. And you have to do like uh, P, uh, Neely Fuller said, if you see people coming, black folks coming across the street, you really do have to cross the street. And I know that sound bad. Unless you know where you at. And unless or unless you're ready to pull it with them, you really have to walk with that type of swag because you don't know what's out there. And especially for you now that this pandemic is hit. Some of y'all are so stupid, you listen to Donald Trump talking about how far the country is out of control and you need him. Hell, he the one did it. And who is so stupid that they don't even see that? Who is so stupid that they don't even? <laughs> he keeps talking about you need me. Dude, you just started all this shit. Wasn't nobody out here. I mean, it, I mean, don't get me wrong. It wasn't perfect. But it wasn't this turn up until you got into office. And you think everybody is blaming it on you? Y'all have been hoodwinked, bamboozled. Y'all, and, and I'm not speaking to black people right now because y'all, was, we were smart enough not to vote for him. We know better. We already know a crazy white supremacist when we see some. And the ones who did, those are the ones that are so sad and they want white people's approval so bad they'll do anything like the Candace Owens type. The kind, when we get our own nation, we know what we're going to do with them type. We don't even have to worry about it. When we get one day soon, as the minister, as the minister said, we're going to do to our traitors what America does to hers, uh, uh, her traitors. So we ain't even worry about the Candace Owens type. I told you that before, the Larry Elders, y'all got y'all day coming. Okay, so we just going to move on from y'all. This is for the in the, the, the white population at all. How can you be so damn stupid to vote for somebody like Donald Trump? I mean, I'm just going to have to ask you. The man is dumb. He calls everybody else dumb. Everything he does is projection. Every single thing. And it just goes to show you how we know that you're, how stupid y'all are. That's why we really don't want to be up under y'all leadership and y'all rulership because y'all crazy. If you think this look good, if y'all think there's no way in the world, y'all, we could put anybody up there. And black people have heart. So the, the, the biggest thing you take advantage of us for is the thing that you shouldn't. But you're pushing us to the point now where you are going to have some really black Klansmen rising up. That's what's going to happen. Because you can't kick no dog forever and think you're going to keep getting away with it. It don't work like that. I'm just trying to be a, a, a watchman at the tower to say, listen, let's just stop this before it's going too far. It's already going too damn far.
But let's see if, if there's any remnants of reeling it back. And with Donald Trump, ain't no way. Donald Trump has everybody anxiety level uh, uh, worked up. And then I hear people say, well, just do down ballot. Just do down ballot. Don't, don't just vote for Joe Biden because he ain't going to do it. Listen, you do what you want to do, okay? Yes, I encourage you to vote down ballot, okay? But I also know that, you know, like I said, if they want Donald Trump in there for another four years, he'll be there. Um, I find it interesting that all this stuff is coming out now. I find it very interesting. And they know he's a low-down, dirty dog when they put him in there. So the, the people that control this, they know how uh, that he was a narcissist and, and no apathy. I mean, no, I'm sorry, no empathy for anybody. They know the characteristics. They know what Donald Trump made up. The thing about it is, did we really bank on the American people being this abused? That they would even gravitate some, towards somebody like that? That's the crazy part. That we are so abused that we would look at Donald Trump as strength. And the man is crazy. The man, every narcissist I know, when they go into, when they finish with something, it's pure destruction. They suck all the life out of the room. In this case, he's sucking all the life out of the country. And you fools can't see nothing but black and white. You can't see that you got a madman in your face. <laughs> oh, my God. Call it a shot. And y'all, lastly, lastly. Let's just pray this dude don't got the colds. Because if he got the colds, we upped. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Just put an F in front of it. It is over. It's over. It's over now. If this got the colds, it's all over. It's all freaking, freaking over. And if you make a plan, think what the people saying up in the White House, there are people in the White House that saying the same thing like, my God, this guy's nuts. My God, what are we going to do with this guy? There are some of them, don't think everybody comfortable with covering up Donald Trump. Please don't believe that. Believe me, please. And this is what happens when you're so racist and so hateful and so... Uh, filled with just negative energy, then you'll look at a devil and see him as strength and see it as powerful. You'll look at all the negative attributes that a human being can have and possibly inflict on somebody else, and you will look at them like, oh, he's got so powerful attributes. Anybody that has sense and know how he ran his father's money in the ground and then put him in charge of America, you already know we're finna go down the hill in the handbasket. Farrakhan told you that. Yes, I said it. I'm going to say it again. My beloved Farrakhan told you that. He said you go with him, but that's who they don't want you to listen to at all because he's a demagogue. And the mainstream capitalists don't want you to hear nothing he got to say. But I, those of us who understand, we don't feel that way. And you can like it and you can take it or you can leave it alone. If you vote for Donald Trump, you're going to go to hell in a handbasket. It's been four years and this dude is tearing up everything. It took this country 400 years to just sustain some sort of normalcy. And we've been through our shit. Trying to reconstruct and redevise a society. And so this is what this is right now. So y'all better get ready to hold on for the ride. I don't know how long it's going to last. But it ain't going to be no short ride. Everybody talking about, oh, you know, maybe by this time next summer there'll be some normalcy. It ain't going to be no normalcy for a while. All them people you see up there in the um, White House, they'll probably be dead and gone. Me too. All of me. Who knows? You too. Because what this dude has done and unleashed, unleashed upon us is the wrath of Satan. <laughs> and that's what we got to deal with. Either the people going to take their power back or they're going to keep on being led like sheep right to the slaughter. 
until you just fall off into the cesspool of filth that has become America. And it's deep. But, y'all like it, I love it. You like it, I love it. But I can say this unhypocritically and not trying to be funny. God bless America. God bless America. Because she's damned. I'll see you in the next video. If you like what you hear, please like, please share. This is